as we wait for SnowRunner update details regarding Season 10 Fix and Connect, I bring you news of a truck-based DLC with a familiar face. Hello and welcome to a tribe called Ben is Back and ready to make more videos. In this one it is time to talk about the next SnowRunner update, not Season 10 Fix and Connect. The source, Mr. Esserokin as he is known on Discord, said that this new update is in progress, but that he can't tell an exact date. What does it feature? Well, the first thing is a new truck, known as the Zix 612H Mastodon. I shall circle back to this in one minute, but first. Are you tired of sitting? Do you need a work surface? Well, today is your lucky day, introducing the FlexiSpot E7 Standing Desk, which tries to stand tall above the competition with solid build quality and customization. Rising to the occasion, the E7 features a height range of 58 centimeters to 100 123 centimeters, and its dual motor design, one in each leg, ensures smooth movement. There is also a memory function so you can store up to four custom heights or use the up and down arrows. Not only that, you can choose between a range of desk widths and materials. In this case, I went for the smallest size, 120 millimeters, in mahogany, mainly because walnut had sold out, but anyway, still pleased. I also have the optional adjustable dual monitor desk mount. Then there is a small optional cable tray, which is where all my plugs go so everything can move up and down without tearing the plug out to the wall. And even a desk drawer for storing stuff and things. Factor in a 10 year warranty, 125 kilogram moving load capacity, anti-collision detection and ease of use and you can see why it would be foolish to sit on such a tempting purchase. Check out the links in the description for more info. This new SnowRunner update includes the aforementioned Pros release, short for Prism Ray Online Services. It is a feature that enables cross-platform saves for every platform. Plus, there will be a new banners system and special rewards for registration because user adoption incentivization. Not only that, Saber Interactive and Focus Home said they are bringing fixes for DLC 9 issues, which could include Xbox connectivity problems, as this topic was mentioned in the March 2023 SnowRunner Community Update. Keep sending over info to the developer if it happens to you. I would hazard a guess these fixes include the water tank issue, which can be solved by swapping from Imperial to metric units in the options menu. A bunch of optimizations were also mentioned, hinting that some of the reduced frame rate performance experience since Season 9 Renew and Rebuild was released may well become a thing of the past. Mr. Esserokin then said, that is all I can say right now, unless he wants to start working at Wendy's. But this new video is not over, let us talk about that new SnowRunner truck. Known as the Zix 612H Mastodon, Mr. Esserokin was kind enough to share an image of the interior. A few seconds of research later, and it appears we have indirect confirmation of the return of the E7310 from Spin Tires and Mudrunner. Yes, the 8x8 military monster is looking extremely likely to be an official release truck in SnowRunner, complete with three cargo slots, not three trailer slots, as the forum post said. This is a good thing given how powerful it was in previous games, and that the devs could really do a good job with it. But it is also bad as we have seen the Maz 7310, as it is known in real life, in mod form already, and that it is a standalone DLC, in other words, not part of the year 3 pass and likely to cost real money. Why do I think it is the 7310? Well, because of the steering wheel, window shape and that beefy dial on the right. The wait for the new Suzuki Jimny continues. Now, if you turn your memories back a bit, I mentioned there would be another new brand being added to SnowRunner in addition to Mac and Kenworth. Is that still a thing? Perhaps not, unfortunately. The last I saw, Mr. Esserokin said of the third mystery brand deal, oh, it may not be after all, some legal mess trying to figure out what happens. The fun of licensing killing momentum, presumably. Saber Interactive and Focus Home also posted the content roadmap again, but seeing as it does not tell us anything new and simply tells us to expect year three content in the third year, we shall not dwell on it. 
And here this SnowRunner sermon shall end. Praise the potato gods, keep dousing those fires, and I shall see you with more car and trucking content. Subscribe and like, and big love to my Patreon supporters. Take care. Bye.